Buongiorno ragazzi, buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti, eccoci qua con il nostro grandissimo ospite, lo abbiamo annunciato da tempo, insomma torna da noi Matsuyama, parleremo principalmente di ciò che sta succedendo intorno alla questione J-League e Sorare, visto che abbiamo con noi Matsuyama ovviamente, e parleremo con lui anche mh, naturalmente di quello che è la sua esperienza su Sorare, gli chiediamo a che punto è dopo eh, che è tornato da noi dopo qualche mese, cosa pensa che succederà all'interno della piattaforma. Ovviamente ragazzi ho preso anche i vocali che avete mandato, li ho tradotti, vi ringrazio per averlo fatto. So Matsuyama, hi there, how are you? Hi, I'm very well indeed. Just getting some coffee Italian to wake coffee, me up. Italian coffee or British coffee? I think it is the worst British coffee going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a friend's house and I just could put it in and I'm regretting it. But yes, I need some good Italian coffee, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you have to come uh, to, to come visit me and I will offer yes. you a very great Italian coffee. Whenever you, uh, want, I'll, whenever you want. I'll be there later. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> Just Dangerous take a words. fly and come to Pisa. We have an airport. It's very near the city. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm very close to the airport here as well. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll, it's I'll done, see you this it's afternoon. Done. Deal is done. Deal is done. <laughs> great. Let's start uh, with um, easy an easy argument. Uh, so we we saw this morning uh, these uh, two tweets uh, from Nicolas Julia about uh, J1 and Sorer. No, uh, everything here, everyone here knows that there is a, uh, such a bit difficulty uh, to know what will uh, be the future of J1 uh, in Sorare because uh, Sorare doesn't uh, announce uh, yet uh, the renewing of uh, you know, the, the, the partnership with uh, J1 clubs. What do you think about that, uh, Matsu? Yeah, it's um, an interesting situation. Um, for one, I didn't like the communication originally from mm. Nicolas yeah. with the eyes. I mean... Well, when uh, no, a, one, no one uh, <laughs> maybe he's had too many glasses of wine and he's just <laughs> putting the eyes out everywhere um, asahi, 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 mount, yeah. Fuji mount, Fuji <laughs> he's drinking it asahi the number one and only beer in japan but um yeah. yeah i'm not too worried to be honest i think it's like he said in his second communication today uh with finalizing details with yeah. the league um so as i was saying to you before it could easily have been a situation where so rare forgot that the j league license was expiring because they ran it from three years ago for example and they quickly just need to uh, relicense it eccolo qua questi sono eh, questo è il mio post ovviamente poi lui in un in post di sorella japan ha scritto the league will be covered next season quindi mm. la la, la, la League, insomma, la G1 sarà coperta, poi sostanzialmente, siccome il problema non è tanto che sia coperta o meno, perché ragazzi, lo sapete anche voi, anche la Chinese Super League, still Chinese Super League, is covered uh, mm. from Sorare, no, Matsu? Quindi, insomma, la, 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 anche la cine, la, 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 il campionato cinese è coperto, ma questo non vuol dire che verranno mintate nuove carte, quindi qui comunque lui cerca di tranquillizzare tutti dicendo... Eh, che lo comunicherei l'avrei comunicato se avessi potuto prima possibile ovviamente noi stiamo arrivando a finalizzare gli ultimi dettagli ecco e siamo confident che pri prima possibile sarà licenza so quello che diceva Matsuyama ragazzi era di stare tranquilli lui non ha paura non ha paura da questo punto di vista so uh, after the, the, those two tweets we can be Just more confident that uh, J1 yeah. can, uh, will arrive uh, also in uh, to 2023. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's a concern. We want to get it finalized. However, yeah. I don't personally worry too many, too much about things I can't control. Like I was saying before, yeah. there's a beautiful Japanese phrase, shogunai. Basically, shogunai. So what does shogunai? It mean? 
If you can't control it, don't worry about it. Sorry, I'm going to say it. Allora, ragazzi, Matsuyama ha detto che dovremmo tutti seguire un grande proverbio giapponese che è Shogunai. Cioè, quello che non possiamo, di, non possiamo preoccuparci di ciò che non, riusci, non possiamo controllare. Yes, Beh, exactly. Io. I use it all the time. I'm, I'm carefree. But if you, it's a very popular phrase. Um, so, I, and I look at all the information. I can only see so rare relicensing it because I can't see any other competition. And secondly, um, so rare was one of the original, I mean, J League was one of the original leagues in yeah. so rare and also SoftBank, which is a huge Japanese company, um, is one of the biggest funders for so rare. So I would be very surprised if it didn't get the license. I have no inside information, of course, um, but I'm not worrying about it in truth. But I can get the concern from others. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 a big concern about from uh, Sorare Asian community that is not so much bigger, but it's very... Um, every one of us loved a lot uh, Asian football. So many are comp- scared. From this, we can all come uh, together. Lack, lack of communication. We can. We yeah, can I, I maybe I'm just used to the lack of communication yeah. with J League and, with and, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me also with K League. Me also with. K-League. Yeah, I, we don't get much love from so rare. I won't lie. <laughs> so <laughs> even with say Opta decisions, etc., it yeah. it is what it is. Uh, but overall, it is a big league for both. Uh, so p- both parties financially it makes sense i think like nicholas said it's just negotiations um and yeah. these things can just be uh j league for example asking for more money um and uh, again without knowing the contracts and the information it's hard to say but i did like yeah. that nicholas was not just using eye emojis today Yeah, no emojis. You're right. Uh, he wrote this morning. Yeah? Be clear. If it, even if it is with in negotiations, it's better than rockets and eye emojis. And yeah, 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 yeah. Eye emojis. Or... The word. <laughs> Una cosa ha detto interessantissima Matsuyama tra le tante interessanti che ha detto, ma che secondo me è veramente dobbiamo mettere all'attenzione quando ha parlato di SoftBank in effetti SoftBank è uno dei principali finanziatori di Solare ed è un grande gruppo bancario giapponese quindi sarebbe stranissimo quindi non è solo una questione qui sportiva ma anche una questione economica che Solare non rinnovasse proprio con una di quelle che è stata tra le primissime eh, leghe che sono ent- entrate dopo appunto Belgio Jupiter League e Eredivisie sono entrate K-League e J-League e con questo grande partner alle spalle quindi sarebbe un po', un po strano ovviamente Matsuyama come me ma come tutti noi sappiamo eh, c'è, c'è il grande problema della comunicazione che Sorare fa però effettivamente stamani ha scritto eh, scrivere poi appunto mette le mogini che ti fanno incazzare e e invece stamani non l'ha fatto Nicola Giulia, quindi questo insomma è abbastanza interessante. Someone is uh, writing this petition to remove emojis from Nicola Giulia. <laughs> I'll sign up. <laughs> With an re- emoji. <laughs> ah, okay, right. Nicola, please remove it. Remove them, remove them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think he's just bored sometimes and tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Ha detto ragazzi Matsuyama che probabilmente <ride> spesso Nicolà è annoiato e quindi si mette lì. Via. <ride> It's uh, yeah, I'm not a fan, but I can't I can just they see have, him. Yeah, Matsu, they have to, make, they have to make a, a big update to this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tease. Uh, but hopefully this week, for example, we get it. Um, I've seen this happen before with other leagues. Um, yeah. so I'm not too concerned. And like I say, so rare don't always have their eye on the J League. I always feel it's one of their, uh, they're not always checking, for example, when the license is going to expire yeah, or yeah. the situation. Also, But, there's one another thing to say that uh, if uh, J1 uh, doesn't get the, 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 the renewal, uh, there will be only K1 rewards. 
Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I don't think that would exist. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. So the, the league will, you can still use the players, but there'll be less rewards if we had that scenario of uh, not getting the license. But I don't believe Asia would just be K League in truth because it doesn't make sense. So perhaps they have other plans. Uh, with maybe, other maybe with J1, we can think that. Uh, we suppose that uh, uh, some other league ca- ca- could come in uh, Surreal, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, Audi Pro League. Ah, ragazzi, ho yeah. chiesto, ovviamente, gi- giustamente ragionavamo con Matsuyama della questione che se la G-League non dovesse rinnovata, rinnovare la partner, eh, resterebbero soltanto le reward di K1, il che sarebbe onestamente improbabile, sia per me che per lui, ovviamente, ma per tutti noi, sappiamo bene, sarebbe veramente un casino. Quindi gli ho chiesto che cosa ne pensasse dell'introduzione di altri campionati, like Saudi Pro League, Mazzo. Exactly. But, yeah, I think Saudi League will come at one stage because it's up to covered. And yeah. also, they um, added the Saudi language a couple of years ago. So there was speculation at that point. Um, but again, it's hard to know when, um, because there's things going on in the background. Um, for example, money, uh, legal issues, political. So... yeah. As you know, I love my percentages, so I always go with, I think I'm 95% sure <laughs> will be covered. There you go. We can, um, ask, uh, we can ask Spicer. I love my percentages. We can ask I mean, Spicer if, if he introduce a percentage for, for, for new leagues in the play sharp. Maybe it yeah, yeah. be fun. <laughs> I mean, my wife doesn't like it. She, she's like, what would you like to eat? So I'm 70% sure I would like to eat. <laughs> You know, it's a, it's a fun relationship. Praticamente, but... questo, sorry, Mazzo, praticamente Mazzuyama <laughs> vive la sua vita usando sempre le percentuali. Quindi ora capiamo anche tutte le sue percentuali all'interno, all'interno di Flash Charter. <laughs> so what do you think about Saudi Pro League? Now, with the arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo at Al Nasser, it will be a, a very big upgrade for, for, for all the, 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 the Saudi League. Yeah, no, it's it's got so many Interest, overpowers uh, in money that can arrive. Uh, everything. Exactly. Um, yeah, it, it'll be huge for so rare financially. In terms of the gameplay, there's a lot of overpowered cards in wow. that league. Wow. Um, not just Ronaldo, of course, but yeah, even yeah. before then. Um, Alilal Alila, cheap... team, Marega. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aliska, Marega. So. Again, uh, I'm not one to speculate. I, I'd rather see what happens. I, my feeling yeah. is they would need to be careful with how they do it and which league they are put in. Uh, because understandably, when there's new leagues, um, they can be too overpowered. Um, and in general, so rare since I've joined, have been very good at that side of things. Um, but yeah, I, I, it'll be a big step. Big, It'll be question from the chat thanks guys ricordatevi ragazzi di fare le domande a mazzo eh, così le, 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 le butto lì maybe there will be there will be political issue with the saudi pro league like yes that. exactly i i think so rare looked like they were going to add the saudi league with adding um the language there for example a couple of years ago yeah. but at that time politically in the west uh, at least there was a very anti Saudi feeling so uh, it's understandable but it could be something else for example money as well or it could be license issue but my feeling is it ticks the boxes i.e opta covered it's a huge market for both parties wow. and um so rare are very good at building relationships and getting and licenses. we also know that uh, Saudi wants to to organize uh, the world cup in 2030 yes. so there are a lot of political interest now in that country that can make uh, this happening well, that that the saudi police can come on Surar. yeah yeah i mean it makes makes sense for all parties um yeah. 
but it, and I and I can tell. We'll probably get some more eye emojis if we ask the question to Nicola. <laughs> we can try. We can try. <laughs> Vabbè oh, ragazzi, quindi, ovviamente ci sono motivi politici grandi, lo sappiamo, io vi ho fatto leggere anche l'articolo, I, I, I wrote an article about Saudi Arabia, Ronaldo and what can happen yes. in, in uh, World, uh, World Cup, ma ragazzi, quindi l'ho anche scritto nell'articolo, ci sarà sicuramente nuovo interesse e l'Arabia Saudita ha tutto l'interesse per espandere la propria magnificenza, fare un po' di sport washing, perché ovviamente non saranno i soldi a interessare agli arabi, no? In questo caso, ma più che altro farsi notare per arrivare poi a cercare di ottenere la candidatura del 2030, che ricordiamoci, loro possono provare a ottenere, eh, nonostante ci sia la regola da parte della FIFA che debbano passare due manifestazioni per fare la competizione nello stesso continente, perché la vogliono organizzare insieme all'Egitto alla Grecia, questa è la questione and just pray all the gods they want a seen world cup uh, well, well, bradipo bradipo, probably this would happen, and you know that Matsu, the world cup could be played in Arabia in Saudi mm. Arabia, Egypt and Greece, these are the three countries, okay, interesting yeah, yeah, yeah because I, there, I... Are, there is a rule uh, in FIFA that yeah. uh, any country Uh, can't organize a World Cup uh, if uh, there are two edition of the World Cup in the, the same continent. So, uh, but Saudi Arabia, uh, the people of Saudi Arabia, that's very smart and clever, decided to ask to Egypt that it's in Africa and Greece that it's in Europe if they want to join them. So they can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. As the World Cup. Do you know when they're going to decide on that World Cup? Uh, 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 next year, I think. Next okay. Year. So let the bribing begin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quindi ragazzi, organizzare, quindi questa è la, è la cosa pazzesca, ma le, torniamo, torniamo a sorare ragazzi, ovviamente se avete altre domande su questa questione ben vengano, noi proviamo ad andare avanti. Mm. What do you think about the current market situation in sorare? Um, because it depends so much on the scarcity um it it really varies yeah uh, let's start let's start from limited uh, scarcity limited yeah, yeah because with the new threshold it's interesting because there's big changes coming soon so we're obviously getting the limited threshold soon um and we're losing specialist and underdog I, I put this twitter uh, from uh, bj Uh, with uh, limited weather, okay, but uh, we can see uh, what's <laughs> now about uh, Asian and American market in limited. Asia yeah. is the green one. So for me, I've been telling everybody I know, if possible, go rare rather than limited. Go rare? Go rare. As in, it depends on the situation, but it's so competitive in limited because... Yeah. There's so many people playing it. Um, and I was looking at a few galleries where you could sell the limiteds, overpowered, of course, and get rare because uh, when I calculated, rare threshold is still better and rare rewards are still better. Obviously, it will change. It's my projection. Um, with limited, I find it, it's the... So when you get new users, and understandably, they will go to limited. And they see the big players, the big names, and they will buy, etc. But okay. to sorry, win... Sorry, Master, we'll translate. Sorry, allora, yeah, yeah. Stiamo parlando, ovviamente, gli ho chiesto, così potete cominciare a fare le domande adeguate. Mazzo, comunque, ragazzi, è uno dei manager più importanti del gioco. E gli ho chiesto quale è, secondo lui, la situazione del mercato, partendo dalle limite. Ovviamente, facendo vedere questo bel tweet di BG, se non seguite l'account, ragazzi, seguitelo, lui ogni tanto tira fuori dei dati, degli schemi, delle proiezioni su, sulle carte, sul mercato, è molto molto interessante, sto, sto account, seguitelo. Qui vedete qual è la proiezione in risalita al 15 gennaio delle carte limite d'Asia, che sono quelle verdi, più o meno eh, era risalito l'America un po' prima, si sono più o meno assestati sullo stesso livello, ma... Matsuyama sta dicendo che il suo consiglio è quello di andare sulle rare, 
cioè secondo Matsu bisogna andare sulle rare ok perché in rara giocano meno persone mentre in limited ne giocano un sacco uh, don't you think that uh, with um, limited cards uh, Nicola and uh, all the Sorare uh, Sorare uh, me- members uh, want to, to, to people to enter and play limited with the new yes, yes 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 so so I was sorry I will I would distinguished so that's for so5 so when you're playing i would say rare for trading limited in asia is amazing because if you know what you're doing so for example goalkeepers if you're confident with him they will increase in price so much um and so many prices go so low like i see them in the auctions at minimum bid yeah, so yeah, for man. trading it's i incredible. really like where you have knowledge others don't um so goalkeepers is the one area i love i don't personally trade so much but it's what i've suggest and i've seen people do very well for example last season with higashi gucci when he was injured yeah yeah i was telling people just buy him buy him buy him um and i didn't i don't do it but i know people um like my wife my second account my third account no i'm joking um <laughs> they <laughs> they, <laughs> they were getting 3x 4x on the trade um <laughs> so i will translate uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't, I don't I will not translate the last part. Mi <laughs> cante, it's fine. <laughs> Allora ragazzi partiamo dall'inizio Matsuyama diceva che ovviamente la questione è se avete voglia di giocare secondo lui la cosa migliore è stare nelle rare, una cosa che abbiamo detto sempre anche noi, anch'io, Simone, insomma Andrea e tutti gli altri Gugli, no? Perché l'obiettivo deve essere le rare e poi andare a giocare in D3 All Star Pro o comunque le Pro regionali anche, e, mentre invece diceva sul trading, sarebbe comunque interessante continuare a stare dice, soprattutto per l'Asia sulle limite in particolare sui portieri. Lui dice che i portieri limited Asia sono la cosa che permette di fare più trading in assoluto. Eh, portava l'esempio di Gashi Gucci che l'anno scorso si è rotto e che lui aveva consigliato di comprare a tutti perché insomma se la gente non conosce eh, rischi di farci un, un bel plus. Questa è la questione principale che ha detto lui è che ovviamente bisogna conoscere i campionati in cui si, si gioca. Poi lui ovviamente ha detto parlava dell'account della moglie del suo secondo terzo account abbiamo riso su, 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 sul multiple account, <ride> insomma <ride> Matsyama 2 Matsyama 3 <ride> <ride> allora no one will discover that it's you with Matsuyama 2 and 3 or, or... And, and no I, it's uh, ingenious <ride> When the, the someone from the chat uh, have a question has a question for you, when the Asian cards will reach the higher price at the start of the season or when the re- European Championships will end? This is a good. Uh, yeah, it is a good question. Um, I find that they will rise a lot into the first game week, so the yeah. real hype. I agree. Is just before, and continue depending on who scores well the first week or two weeks. Yeah. This this year is a little bit different because the World Cup will affect when European leagues end as well. Um, but I can see Asia and MLS, for example, rising. Um, and I don't think many people are aware that, for example, Argentinian League is starting very soon. So... I expect a big rise going into uh, the start of the league. So early February, I would say. And then... Quindi, quindi dice per rispondere a Seime che ha chiesto ragazzi no, quando le carte Asia raggiungeranno il loro top. All'inizio della stagione aveva chiesto Seime o appunto quando finiscono i campionati europei. Giustamente Matsuyama diceva che l'anno scorso con la questione della Coppa del Mondo a novembre 
e quindi insomma con l'interruzione dei campionati e la ripresa veloce dei campionati europei c'era una situazione un po' particolare secondo lui il top verrà raggiunto quando inizieranno i campionati e poi ovviamente dipenderà dalle prestazioni dei singoli calciatori questa è un po' ovviamente la cosa che, che diceva Mazzo uh, I want to let you see this, uh, this graph mm-hmm. this image yep. it's always uh, BG to make it this is the ratio limited rare Yeah, yeah. possiamo vedere ragazzi no, che dopo l'abbiamo già fatto vedere anche con Simone questa cosa che continua ovviamente a scendere la razza anche se si è un po' assestata cioè il rapporto fra limited e rara ovviamente è quello lo vedete era arrivato la distanza a essere molto alta la linea gialla è quando sono state annunciate le nuove threshold now it's 8.6 the ratio is that based Between on rare and limited um, yes ok Yeah, so with, um, I will say I'm not a huge fan of these type of graphs because they're too general. <laughs> they're too general. Yeah, well, And well, yeah, yeah, we know. I get it. I, I understand. I understand the need for it. Um, I would say for me, what we'll see also really important is the players have their averages is a snapshot of how they ended last season. Yeah. So okay. you'll see pr- pr- players who have high averages really go up sometimes not justified um because they just came in because somebody was injured yeah um but yeah in general and, and with people, that... and people uh, often uh, doesn't know uh, the play they just uh, look at sorad data and they buy they buy them yeah and, and with the limited and rare ratio it, because rare threshold is more difficult for sure Yeah. It's hard to know. It could be the case that both rare and limited are very low. So the mm. ratio can be different if I make sense. Um overall based on the better teams and the better players you'll get the biggest rises. Um and and then secondly injured players returning. So they're the two areas i would say um and it all depends on the price right now but that's where i see the best trading potential the best trading also... potential ragazzi scusami so sorry mazzo sorry. best trading project la proiezione del miglior trading per mazzo sono ovviamente le squadre che performano bene e gli infortunati come abbiamo sempre detto eh, tra l'altro a lui ha un po di dubbi su questi grafici perché sono un po troppo generalistici noi li facciamo li facciamo vedere giusto per eh, farci un'idea comunque di quella che può essere la situazione ovviamente eh, solare is trying hard to bring in new users no mazzo from the competition during the world cup to the current competition of the liga or serie a Do you think these are useful tools to attract new managers? What do you think about that? Gli ho chiesto, ragazzi, qual è se, se, se la eh, politica che sta portando avanti Solare di nuovi ingressi con la World Cup, con la Liga, con la Serie A sia giusta per attirare nuovi managers. What do you think about that? It's important for sure, um, but it's the experience that the user has when they're playing it. Um, So the World Cup, it was difficult because it was just the World Cup. And then yeah. we had a delay between the leagues. I, so just talking to friends, etc., they played it, but stopped after. So I'm being impressed at what So Rare are doing to experiment with the capped um, leagues and other versions to get people in. Um, so I do expect there to be more users joining. Yeah. But I don't think it'll be a high percentage, but it, it, they did as well as they could with the World Cup, in my opinion. Um, and I didn't some, expect some, someone new... Someone like Brady, well, this, this thing is uh, correct. They could be useful if they do it using some brain and starting a Liga competition when Barcelona and Real Madrid... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I totally agree. <laughs> oh, no, I mean... I'm surprised it's taken so long to make it more interesting, like give away shirts, yeah. give away oh. tickets, make it just for the league. I'm waiting for the J-League 
uh, K1, K1, K1. But, it's impossible to buy from Europe. Exactly. So just have the J1 with interesting things. Only people uh, who are age 37 and over. Young guys yeah. in Japan. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's so like if from uh, playing uh, FIFA, for example, there's so many interesting ways yeah. to cap get the audience in. Um, yeah, and I agree, they haven't been great so far, but at least there's attempts being made. Um, and even so, I think the NBA has been good oh, in very that. Good. Very good. They're experimenting with things, and I like it. It's getting people involved. Um, and with the football side, exactly. For I always look at it, if I was a new user, what? why would I want to play so rare? And, and, what, when, if, you, and if you are a new user, what do you want to play in so rare? What would uh, be for you? you? Would, I would go to where... Yeah, it, well, I mean, it, it would be a Asia and uh, America. It would be where I can use... Yeah. The cheapest card to get the best prizes. Yeah, yeah. Um, stavo parlando, ragazzi, sorry, Mazzo. Stavamo parlando, ragazzi, ovviamente, eh, di questa roba della World Cup, come vi ho detto, di quali sono le cose migliori da fare. Secondo lui, comunque, non stanno andando malissimo, a parte, ovviamente, errori che noi tutti conosciamo. Diceva, comunque, che comunque siamo in beta testing, come diciamo spesso anche noi. E poi gli ho chiesto, così, a bruciapelo, eh, che cosa farebbe lui da nuovo utente lui dice che si butterebbe comunque su America o su Asia che sono le carte più come si dice più economiche eh, con cui poter giocare in questo momento at, at situation doesn't obviously doesn't help Matsu uh, no to, to enter new managers in Sorare yeah no yeah, uh, to be honest like, crypto, I've always been to... crypto situation say that again sorry Crypto situation, not, yeah, not yeah, yeah, only, yeah, no, not yeah. only uh, Ethereum one. Well, also economy generally. I mean, yeah. In, yeah, in, yeah. In, it's obvious with inflation and energy prices, disposable income is less and crypto is lower. But I always, again, Shogunai, I can't control that. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Shogunai. I don't, I don't worry too much. I look at what can so rare themselves do yeah. to make the game as interesting for New Year's users and keep people in. Um, and this month has been a little bit awkward because there's not been all the leagues playing yet. So yeah. I'm going to judge it more when, say, Bundesliga starts as well. And we have, and then so rare will time, usually, openings of the new leagues. Touchwood, J-League, they'll do or, some or promo, maybe, K League. Or maybe also when so rare will announce a Premier League partnership. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do, so, do you think, it, do you think it, will, it could be happen soon? Yeah, uh, yes. I am... I, um, It's hard. I don't know if it's better to do it at the start of the season or now, if okay. that makes sense. I think yeah. so rare have got it. <laughs> I think it's more of a timing situation. Yeah. Ok, ragazzi, um, scusami, Marco. Allora, stavamo parlando velocissimamente, ovviamente, anche della Premier League. Uh, stavamo discutendo, ovviamente, di che cosa servirebbe per aiutare l'ingresso di nuovi manager partendo anche dal fatto che l'economia insomma in questo momento ovviamente è in grande difficoltà e quindi anche le cripto lo sono però insomma lui uh, di nuovo usa il famoso detto shogunai e quindi se è una cosa che non può controllare ovviamente la lascia fare guardando ovviamente il fatto che Sorare si sta comunque con grazie Ardi per, per, per il sub, per la sub si sta comportando comunque bene e quindi insomma in questo momento lui è abbastanza sereno e, e niente, niente. Quindi ragionavamo, ragionavamo di questa cosa. E poi gli ho chiesto della Premier. Secondo Matsuyama hanno già l'accordo, ma stanno cercando di capire qual è il timing per lanciare eh, il campionato, se adesso o se alla fine eh, del campionato. Uh, so, yeah, the Premier League... Vai, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say that when I've, I've just come back to England two weeks ago. And how many people are playing the fancy football game in England where there's no prizes 
is insane. Also in There's Italy, me- maybe all millions, Italy, millions. Italy, UK, and uh, USA, US are the, the, the three countries where yeah. uh, fantasy games are the top. So I got the um, uh, audience for the Premier League. I know it's obvious, but it just reminded me how big it yeah. can be. And I believe don't rush it, get it right. It's more important than anything because it is a very uh, big it's release. The top, it's the top league in the world. Exactly. So without, I think it'll without come... any doubt. So without any doubt. Exactly. Um, sadly, my team, Derby County, oh, that are in league, are league one. So yeah, we'll have to wait. I'll wait a little bit. Eh? It's good. I don't have to buy all these bad players for my team. <laughs> <laughs> I can be unbiased. <ride> ah, diceva Mazzuyama che lui si fa derby county, quindi comunque non dovrà comprare tutti quei pessimi giocatori della sua squadra del cuore che, che in questo momento è in Liga One, quindi è nella terza divisione inglese. I had some questions for you that uh, our community yeah, yeah. wrote me in the uh, Saturday and Friday. So the first one was uh, from Todd. Is there a player you took when he was uh, unknown that you particularly love because he turned out to be strong and brought you rewards? Yeah, there's um, quite a few. So my first card I bought on So Rare was the Nagoya defender, Fuji. I think I bought ah, him wow, for... wow, wow. <laughs> I bought him for three pounds from memory. Dear. And... I, I was just test, testing out so rare, to be honest. And he's done absolutely amazing for me and continuing to grow. Uh, is, is this guy, è questo ragazzi, è quello, un giocatore di cui vi parlo spessissimo, incredibile, e Matsuyama l'ha comprato a tre sterline. Uh, yeah, so that would have been really uh, 2020 when I just started and I was testing yeah. uh, the market. Um, and then in general, there's lots of players in... Okay, this is a more of a funny one. So Noah Lang, who plays in Belgium. Say Nang, Lang. I only bought him because that's how you spell my son's name. N-O-A. Matsu ha comprato Noah Lang perché si chiama come il figlio. Che, che carino, grandissimo. And he, my son was watching what I was doing, and he said, and again, this was a, a different time that it appeared. And in the J League, there's been so many that I will get when they're unknown, but they're not if unknown you, to if you. If you can pick only one, who would you pick? Mm, I'm gonna have a quick look at see who has got me the most. Success. All right, another one. <laughs> Actually, this is a little not young, but uh, Jin Ho as in the K League. Yeah. Uh, I bought him when he was completely unknown. Jin Jin Ho. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, how much and did it, did, it, did it cost you? I'm just going to check now. He was bought. Uh, for about 10 pounds, I think. Uh, 10 pounds, ragazzi. L'ha comprato per 10 sterline. Yeah. And, and I remember that was in December. No, it was January 2021. Wow. And I was just looking at how much he has won me. Is absolutely insane i'll just get it up it's, well, it's I... definitely my fa- I, i never expected this kind of success from him but yeah uh he's won he's one of the Where's best he? midfielder in the game he all just over had... the world all over the world he had just moved teams so he actually had a, a red cross on him yeah yeah uh, yeah, because, so he's won me he could, because he could move to Incheon. Um, 
We no, this that. was in 2021, so this was, yeah, before. But he's winning me ah, over no, 20... No, I, I, I am talking about now. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's got me over 25 uh, rewards in... Wow, wow. ...in that time. Um, but there's so many more in terms of young Japanese players coming through. For example... Um, Araki, who when he was playing in uh, Antlers, he's coming back from injury, but he won me so many rewards. Ueda yeah, there, also. There is a question about him. The, the next question was from uh, a user that his name is Sampei. Yeah. Could this be Ryotaro Araki's big comeback season? Uh, yes, to put it <laughs> simply. The team uh, Kashima Antlers are very strong in terms of their depth in, 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 in their squad. And last year was quite unfortunate for Araki because yeah. he had a e back questo, injury. Ragazzi, allora gli ho chiesto, seconda domanda, sorry Mazzo, seconda domanda che ha fatto Sanpei, che salutiamo ovviamente, è questa. Ryotaro Araki, che, lo sa, che per chi non segue il calcio <coughs> giapponese, lo spieghiamo un attimo, è una grande promessa del calcio giapponese, molto sfortunato con gli infortuni, giocatore degli Antlers e quest'anno Sanpei chiedeva appunto a Matsuyama se può essere l'anno di Araki. So go on, go on Matsu. Um yeah, so he's he's known well known in Europe as well being scouted all the time yeah. and when I watched him in the first season he has no fear. Um and he's takes the set pieces as well and the one thing he lacked was his physical strength. Yeah. But and that didn't suit uh Kashima last season with their manager who's now gone. Um and yeah, uh, it, it's going to be interesting this season when they start out. Um Kashima Antlers have got a lot of young players which I really like as well. So I'm with Araki because he's quite known even now his price point is difficult to say. So but if you look at a player like um Yuta Matsumura, uh, he's also at Kashima Atlas. Um, another great player who's coming through, and he's well liked by the manager. Also had injuries and also being scouted by Europe. Again, can't guarantee exactly the setup for Kashima Atlas until preseason. Yeah. Um, But he was very impressive last season when he played. He also got injured. Um, as you can see, his age is what? I think he's only about 21. So, and usually yeah, 21, in... 21. This is the age where in Japan you move up the hierarchy and you get more chance. Um, you're not just cleaning the boots of the players and making green tea <laughs> for everybody. Ovviamente in questa è l'età in cui si smette sostanzialmente di pulire e basta le scarpie dei giocatori e quindi consigliava questi due ragazzi molto giovani eh, degli antlers entrambi eh, reduci da infortuni do you think they, they could start in next uh, 11 uh, antlers 11 next season yeah i'm working out the well, i've got the squad depths i'm looking at pre-season he was okay. starting last season before he got injured Um, I wouldn't say he's 100% safe, nowhere near. Yeah. Um, but it's one to watch that can break out quite easily. The safest under 21 in Antlers is uh, Keigo Tsunemoto. Tsunemoto, Tsunemoto, yeah. Tsunemoto, he's it. a right back. Um, but he's, he runs out under 23 um, in July. But he's, he's a brilliant player. Um, and he was injured at the end of last year. Yeah. So again, his averages don't reflect reality. Um, he's one that will get a lot of attempted assists too. He's a very attacking defender, which suits the matrix. And he will be 100% starting. Oh, I, 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 do I do really love Tsunemoto, how he plays, uh, how he stays in the, back, in the, in the, the field. Uh, I do really, do really love him. Yeah. So, um, the player I'm so with, uh, I've had lots of questions with Antlers, for example, Sekigawa. I'll be yeah. honest, 
he's now third choice centre back. He will ah, only third play choice. The... He will not Maybe. play start. No, I mean they bought in two um, defenders who were legends at the club, who used to who played for them when they won the league last. Um, yeah. Ueda and Shoji. So it, it he will play when there is injuries. This is where hierarchy in Japan is so important. It will be him lower down straight away. So the but, but, um, uh, Sh- Shoji got injured when he could come back after six, eight weeks. I read. So yes, that's my caveat. Is uh, if everybody's fit, Sekigawa is third choice. But then he will be able to play when there's injury. So first game he will be playing is my prediction. So do you think who will play like a starter? Shoji and and Ueda. Ah, uh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They're so he used to back from Europe. Ma ragazzi, scusami, Mazzo, I will talk a, a little bit in Italian. So, ragazzi, mi faccio prendere un po' la mano anch'io, ovviamente. Ditemelo se non se avete bisogno della traduzione, scrivetelo perché poi se no continuiamo a parlare in inglese. Secondo Matsuyama, i titolari della difesa degli Hunter della prossima stagione saranno Naomichi Ueda, che è di ritorno dal Club Brug, e Gen Shoji. Anche se Shoji, lo sapete, l'abbiamo, l'abbiamo detto spesso, insomma, si è rotto e quindi non, non giocherà probabilmente dall'inizio, ma insomma lui e due dovrebbero essere i due titolari, quindi Sekigawa dovrebbe scalare al terzo posto come eh, insomma, difensore centrale. Ma it would be a, ri- a rising star for the future. He will could be. be a, could, could be a good purchase for the future, Sekigawa, if he doesn't play a lot this season. This season. Well, uh, I had him, I bought him when he wasn't in the team. So when he was like 0.01 ETH. So I look at it opposite. You buy the players about to break through. For me, okay. he's, he's a risk now, like a big risk. So just to give history on Ueda, for example, he, I can see that his average is awful. He doesn't look great on paper. So he was in the Kashima Atlas team that won the league in 2016. Yeah, yeah. And when they were doing the presentation for the new players, he was the main player they used. So his ranking in the team is very high. Okay. Um So someone so he, is asking soon Kim Sun Tae will get his chance this year or not? Uh, Kim maybe, Tai, sorry, Kim Min Tai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sun Tai. I own him, for example, but I don't think he'll be starting. So he's even said himself he wants to coach. And so, he so wants who, who, who will be the uh, Hunters GK? Ayakawa or Rocky? Uh, well, that's the question. Bo- he wants eh. a battle between both of those players. Allora, ragazzi, Hi- scusate, a questo punto gli ho fatto la domanda top che tutti facciamo, ne discutiamo da tempo. Chi sarà il titolare degli Antlers? Importa. E Matsuyama stava dicendo che non si sa se Oki o Ayakawa e Suntae, lo sappiamo, insomma, ne abbiamo parlato, potrebbe giocare varie partite per poi ritirarsi a fine anno. So, do you, th- do you don't think that... Uh, Kwon Sun Tai who will play some games at the start of the season? He may play sometimes depending on the situation and the confidence of the other keepers. But okay. it's it's been well, even last season, um, he was getting angry at the young keepers. He was saying, you need to, I'm an old man. You need to show that you're better than me. So what they want is co- healthy competition between... Okay the two younger keepers sun tai may play occasionally um but it's very hard to read um for certainty who will be the main starter throughout the season at the moment it's hayakawa did very well at the end of last season yeah very well very well played very well and oki was a starting keeper before he's had um confidence issues um so they've been working on that over a year or so it may change uh so for me it's uncertain and uncertainty equals i don't really touch 30 percent 25 percent 33 33 33.1 <laughs> allora ragazzi casino, casino enorme come abbiamo sempre detto anche noi 
sulla questione Antlers perché per il momento come dice il buon Matsuyama 33% 33% 33% su chi può um, partire titolare nella porta degli Antlers la prossima stagione I think I've got Hayakawa as the favorite as but okay. only from memory it was like 65% but it's wait and see situ- situation okay. um And do you but think I that know... uh, Kami Fukumoto could be the starter no? or in frontale or, or um, no? <laughs> so yeah. me too, me too, me too. I agree, I agree. I can understand why uh, when looking at it m- you may think he's going to be a starter. Uh, but it's very likely he's going to be starting the first game because yeah, of the so suspension. The, the, the other is suspended, suspended, yes. But he's an absolute legend, and if you look at him, maybe it's the uh, Korean diet. You can't tell he's 37. He doesn't play like that. And they didn't Ragazzi, have a quindi, sex... quindi Ryong sarà ancora, come abbiamo sempre detto, il titolare pro- quasi certo del frontale. Eh? Yeah, and he's also a, uh, one of the deputy captains, etc. Yeah. So yeah. They, they needed a backup in general, and, then, and he's good at coaching as well um so he'll be coaching the younger keepers at frontale but yeah i, I it's not he did, wasn't brought in he's brought in to challenge don't get me wrong there's going to be more competition um but i can't see that changing and, and uh, people want to know like uh, luke uh, w- which is the percentage of uh, kami fukumoto 25 lower Lower, meno di 25%, <laughs> ragazzi, su Kami Fukumoto, meno di 25%. It's, it's one where, I, again, this is my opinion, I might be yeah, wrong, but what course, I gen- a, a generally I will check is what is happening inside the club and how they're communicating information. Yeah. Um, and the big thing in Japan is when you're being at a club for a long time, You 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 are you're deciding basically. You're the leader of that area. So it doesn't change much unless he he will say, you know, I'm finished or something. Um but yeah, I I don't I can understand you look at the age 38, oh dear, what's going on? But I've heard this every year with him for the last two years and he starts every game. Yeah. Uh There'll be competition, maybe cup games, etc. Now, now uh, remaining at frontale, rimanendo yes. sempre a frontale, ragazzi. Quindi parte Rion, ragazzi, ma questo si è detto sempre, eh? Uh, vabbè, l'abbiamo sempre detto anche noi. E, um, grazie, Batgrim, per il follow. Remaining at frontale, who will start now in the, uh, as a starter forward? After yeah, that's a... Leandro Damiao and Kobayashi <laughs> got injured. Uh, yeah, so that was in. I, I was wondering if it. So with D- Damia being injured, I thought it would be between Mia Mia Zero, uh, yeah. who or Kobayashi. So Kobayashi is being injured. Means Grazie it, per l'abbonamento. Sì, Kobayashi got injured. Uh, so it's going to be Mia Zero. Uh, yeah, sì. He's quindi going Mia to. Mia Shiro titolare, ragazzi, nel frontale. Eh? Quindi anche questo si era detto ieri. Eh? Mia Shiro titolare nel frontale. Yeah, Taisei. Uh, Egawa, yeah, Egawa is not so good. Not, I don't understand why Frontale uh, bought him. He's more of a supporting striker. Um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, maybe so maybe because, does... they, because they know that uh, Chinen is going away, they, they go, yeah. for, they go through, through, through Segawa. Yeah, and he, he works no, mi, a lot. Mi, uh, mi Ashiro gioca titolare. Mi Ashiro, mi Ashiro. Yes, yeah, he's, he's been um, on loan the last two years, yeah. one year at Tokushima and was at uh, Tosu last year. And he's... He's a good this, striker. I really like him. Yeah, I, I've had his super rare a long time just because I loved how he played at Tokushima. And yeah. he, will, he will get his chance. Um, it's a worry for Frontale to lose two strikers um for squad depth however the first 11 is still very strong um wow. what, what do you think and, that uh, ominami could start huh? with the jazz uh, 
No, I, again, it's going to be... Urumaya will be finally get his starting point as uh, Bradipo asked me. I'm watching this uh, situation. I, I, my feeling is they may get another centre back in. Um, because you can never replace Taniguchi. However, they look weak in defence in terms of depth, uh, squad yeah. depth. Yeah. So I'm waiting to see in this situation. I think Jessiel will be first choice. Uh, he's the experienced guy. Of course, of course. Krumia is uh, more of a left back, but he can play as centre back. He's moving up. He's also now, I, I think he's deputy captain. Um, so he'll be favoured for his experience. However, I'm waiting to see if there's any more movement. Um, okay, ragazzi, quindi sta dicendo questa cosa, Matsuyama. Al momento, situazione un po' così. Jesiel sicuramente dovrebbe essere titolare. Kurumaya potrebbe essere titolare perché probabilmente è anche il vice capitano quest'anno. Però probabilmente ci saranno altri, altri movimenti di mercato. So maybe Frontale will go for another CB. And yeah, I mean, uh, Ominami is, will do well there, but he's also relatively young. Yeah. And yeah. they brought him in because he, he's versatile as well. He can play, uh, for example, at, um, on the right hand side. Um, as a sub to Yamane, for example, or can come in as a center back for his speed. Um, and he will do a lot better than he did uh, at Kashiwa because of the way Frontale play. However, I'm, w- I'm watching how, how they use him in preseason um, and if there is any more transfer activity. Okay, guys. For me. Sorry, sorry, Mats. Quindi, ragazzi. No, no, yeah. Ma praticamente Ominami è molto giovane probabilmente acquisirà comunque possibilità di giocare perché comunque è anche malleabile, lo sapete, Ominami può giocare anche da esterno uh, a 5 a centrocampo quindi insomma, secondo Matsu maybe there will be another arrival in, the, in frontale defense it's hard because um, yeah. it, it would have to be international yeah. and They have a lot of international players already. Well, they, they, they can, they can uh, send away uh, Chanatip. Uh, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> he played. He play, he, maybe he was w- one of the worst, uh, the worst, uh, the worst last, last year. He brought in that lovely time money. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know but... uh, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I mean, it was a strange signing. Um, he does okay, but I don't think he suits this Frontale setup. In midfield, he's too weak in terms of how they play. Quindi um, Chana, tipo ragazzi, ho detto ragazzi, perché siccome giustamente Matsuyama diceva, però dovrebbero comprare probabilmente uno straniero, quindi dovrebbero insomma liberarsene di uno, probabilmente di Chana, tipo che io ho detto è stato uno dei peggiori dell'anno scorso. Do you think Yenaga will start a game oh. this season? Uh, yes, I mean, he, they brought in um, Sagawa as well to use sometimes, but. He looks great, to be honest. I've always been... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've always been... Only because he is 36. Huh? I, he, exactly, he... And, I, and I won't lie. I've, I've sold him in the past and regretted it, thinking maybe somebody new will come in. But he's still there, chewing the same chewing gum um, he has for the last <laughs> two years. <laughs> he's too, he is... He's just great. Um, it's, and it's, I, I, it's too good for, to, to not play. It's too good to not play. And he's just so calm throughout yeah. the game and he never looks out of breath. Um, so he's so experienced for them, he will be starting. And I can understand with the age, but I've been thinking somebody's going to replace him for the last two years, to be honest. Yeah. And he just continues to perform. Um, I have a last question for you, Matsu. Then uh, we, we will get you free and you will come back whenever you want insomma ragazzi un'altra domanda e poi si può tenere qui 18 ore do you use any particular tools this is a question from Marco Marco Porcedda do yeah. you use any particular tools to field formations uh, having so many cards and managing all these cards it will be very tough how much of your time do you invest in the game 
Um, I've got a team of trained monkeys who, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I, <I'm... laughs> Ha detto che ha 18 scimmie ammaestrate. Ha fatto la domanda di Marco. No, Marco ha chiesto: ha ah, un sacco di, 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 di carte, gioca tantissimo, vince come se ha un tool particolare e quanto yeah, tempo yeah. investe. E ovviamente Mazzu ha detto che ha 18 monkeys, 18 scimmie ammaestrate. Ho <ride> um, I, I basically have a list of websites I use and I will spend concentrated time on it at certain points of the week so i like to just get it done and switch off um but the main part is always dodging the dmps so yes with uh, the deadlines i'm all about the last two hours i even have a playlist i put on and i go into focus <laughs> move <laughs> And I go through the list of websites from all the different leagues of my trusted information. And uh, yeah, just get it so, done. Uh, Brad, Brad was saying, uh, monkeys would feel my information. <laughs> I should give them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just, uh, I just like the person's face on the picture of the, of the card. I'm like, yep, you go in. But no, I'm, I'm very much uh, data focused. So I just go with the data betting odds. And I have uh, a little bit of an optimizer. Do you, do, you but... made, do you made a software? How do you manage them? Oh, no, it was just on Excel, ah. to be honest. Um, just Excel. Okay, okay. But I use um, a macro, which creates ah. the... It, it gets the information. It's basically play sharper, to be honest. You can just use that now. But before it was... So, for example, for NBA... I don't have any clue about that. Marquez will give less DNPs than Muscat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and become friends with Muscat. I'm gonna go up to uh, <laughs> <Next> Yokohama. <laughs> Ragazzi, mi ricordo che Matsuyama, perché non l'abbiamo detto magari all'inizio, è come uno degli esperti di Play Sharper. Matsuyama è l'esperto di G1 di Play Sharper, quindi le formazioni le mette Matsuyama. I was saying to all the chat that, that I, I remember to all the chat that you are the, the, the play sharper expert uh, of J1. So it's uh, all on you about uh, J1 oh. prediction. <laughs> yeah, 70% for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody hassles me then. <laughs> But That's very difficult to, 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 to get yeah, uh, Marino's it, prediction, yeah. With it Moscow. is, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a I'm glutton for punishment. <laughs> it's this. It's very hard to get right. Um, but yeah, so all that information will go out and play sharper for free. Yeah. Um, but for, for J League, yeah. for J League in particular, you're getting information up to the last half an hour, for example. So. Uh, all, all in K1, eh? also in K1, guys. Eh? Anche in K1. Quindi. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I have to go through the different people's rubbish bins and, you know, see what's happening. Yeah. You know, I, I've got a few, um, I've got a few legal cases for my stalking. So it's, it's, it's tough work, but we get there. Si, come someone saying, um, we have not to, to work like uh, like the Turkish guy did in Play Sharper, but we 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 are not to talk about this argument. Ragazzi, non parliamo oh, no, della, no, no. Questione, della questione turca. La, la, io e Mazzo la conosciamo, ovviamente siamo nella chat degli esperti. Abbiamo, sappiamo esattamente tutto come è andato. Abbiamo lo scambio fra Spicer e i ragazzi, però insomma non è, non è cosa di parlarne qui. Magari inviteremo Spicer stesso in una live e magari parleremo di ciò che succede yeah. in Sharper. però quello che dico è che vi dovete fidare ragazzi il servizio di Play Sharper non perché ci lavoriamo noi ma insomma è un servizio gratuito totalmente gratuito su leghe di cui non ci sono informazioni di nessun tipo se non quelle che quei, quei matti come noi vanno a cercare e quindi bisogna anche un attimo è vero incazzarsi se qualcuno fa stronzate e giustamente poi ne paga le conseguenze ma in generale insomma 
ho letto delle robe su Char perché veramente mi hanno fatto incazzare tantissimo eh? quindi andiamoci, andiamoci con serenità insomma se no veramente no... deve avere su me il peso e la misura delle cose che accadono eh? e non eh, gettare la croce addosso a tutti quando c'è uno che si comporta come non dovrebbe insomma ma... ok 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 ma su So what um, we saw, abbiamo visto ragazzi no, che Mazzo ha vinto un sacco. We saw you won a lot in the last few weeks. Oh yeah, it's been a very yeah, good couple of weeks. Wow, uh, good, great. I, I can yeah, say. yeah, no, 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 it's been amazing. Yeah, I was, uh, sometimes <laughs> what's really, I didn't realize how well I was doing. So uh, I was out and then I suddenly saw, I thought there was a mistake <laughs> on my app. I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't believe it. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Eccolo, questo è Matsuyama, ragazzi. Seguitelo qui, seguitelo ovviamente ovunque. Seguitelo su Twitter, eh. Todd. Se ci sei, fai lo shout out del Twitter di Matsuyama, così lo seguite. Ovviamente, seguite su Rare Tactics e tutto. Questo è Matsu. You won in 335, uh, right? Can you check how I'm doing this week? I haven't actually looked because I was out last night. <laughs> <laughs> One tier one rare in Champion Europe, rare pro. Ooh. But there are some games tonight, I think. Oh, Ben Yedder hat trick. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'll take it. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... <laughs> but yeah, no. Um... Yeah, okay. anche... ah, three right three under dog immobile yeah he got injured i saw that i turned ah, the tv ah, on ah, ah, i just turned it off when i saw him on the bench I don't, oh, talk, injured. Don't, don't, don't talk about this thing it's yeah, messy yeah. for me in fantacalcio allora eccolo uh, qua 335 oh, yeah. three tier zero t zero with the first place in All Star Pro, quindi ragazzi, questo ve l'ho già fatto vedere, ma faccio vedere. Complimenti, Matsuyama. Fantastico. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that was, uh, okay. that was amazing. Uh, yeah. Amazing. First All Star Pro, poi è arrivato... Uh, Dov'è? Dov'è dov quell'altro? Uh, era second, due volte secondo. Ecco qua. Secondo, second in Champion Europe Air Pro. Oh, wow. yes. It's got, it's got a, a good Italian uh, Serie A core yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, I saw. I saw, I saw. <laughs> Danilo Pellegrini Tonale. Wow. And then second in Underdog. Yeah, I was very lucky with Life that one. Is, life is. Uh, that's incredible. No, yeah, that was, I won't lie, that was uh, just my leftovers. So very lucky with that team. Because uh, it's all about the captain. So... Of course, delighted yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with especially the rewards. I thought, yeah, uh, obviously and my you, bribes. You won Niabri, hai vinto Niabri. I won Trent, ah, Salah. And Arno de Salah, okay, okay. So I won the uh, uh, li uh, 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 Liverpool would, guys. Uh, use them to play or you will uh, so sell them? Um, yeah, so Trent I will keep and use. And... I need to check on Salah just because um, I forget the fixtures, etc. But yeah, I might, I might change it myself. Uh, but because I'm traveling around England and Europe at the moment, I'm... Uh... <laughs> Perché a giro in questo momento quindi non sa ancora se venderà Alexander Arnold, se venderà, insomma, Salah yeah, yeah. o Gnabry, ecco, insomma. It's, and, then, and again, you can use that Eve to just... Yeah, it depends on the gallery. So I'm all about checking and making it as uh, as best as possible for the future. So I'd be looking already. Do you, do you still prefer summer. to play than trading? As you said, me. 100%. Um, um, only, because of, ragazzi, 80%, eh? 80%. <laughs> only because of the time um, and my gallery. So I can, if I was starting out, I would be trading, I think. So, quindi, ragazzi, so... se partisse ora Matsuyama farebbe trading eh? attenzione quindi preferisce all'80% giocare perché ha quella galleria lì uh, ovviamente insomma. I was just fortunate to join early and then yeah. now it takes in October 2020 right. yes and um, now because I play all 
I'm an addict, so I will play every single division I can. And <laughs> è un addict, addict. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, and the monkeys are busy. I might have to hire two more <laughs> if we get new leagues. How much time do you spend in Solar every day? I didn't uh, uh so I'll do so it in the morning. Sorry, sorry, so I'm very, I, I, I multi, if you see my place in Ch Japan, it's so many monitors and I'm ah. multitasking a lot. So I'll spend, okay. my morning is not just so rare, but just responding two hours, I'd say. And then I will do other things. And then but the main time I'll spend is on the deadline days. So Tuesday okay. and Friday. Um, or, for example, if I'm with the kids. So when in Japan, because of time difference, it's very quiet in the day for me because Europe is still asleep. Um, so I'll spend time here and there where I can. But I spend far, far too much time. That's for sure. Far, far too much time, ragazzi. Yeah, spend much yeah time. I'm... Uh... I'm uh... I just love it. So I'll be in uh, work meetings. Uh, Bra with... Bradipo said, where can I send my CV as a monkey for you, Matsu? No <laughs> need for us. I need to see a dance. I need to see a monkey dance uh, video. <laughs> I need to see a video. Amy, do you want a monkey dance? And I uh, pay literal peanuts. I will literally pay peanuts. Um, <laughs> Ragazzi, ma siamo furbissima, veramente furbissima. Avete, se avete domande, ragazzi, io lo lascerei andare e magari quest'ultima parte poi della live chiacchieriamo un po' prima che arrivi Andrea e poi vi, poi, poi vi, vi mando da Andrea, da, 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 da Deodorante, insomma. Nessuna no, domanda, I should start. Uh, well, how did um, Blackpool do it? They did scholarships, that was it, with their... Uh... <laughs> That was a funny way to get people to do work for them. Okay. So I, I have, there's a question for you. In the 2019 season, Park Hill Gyu were suspended after the first, the delay, the, the last uh, game week in the yeah. game one. Uh. But the first one in 2020, he played regularly. Why? Yeah. He uh, was I, not I... suspended. I, this is something I want to double check because when they got their red cards in the last game, I remember the commentators in Japanese saying they will be suspended in the first game. Yeah, and also I the fans, too. the yeah. fans said it. Um, but then I was thinking today, is that really true? Because it's a last season, so I'm going to check properly again. And they haven't announced officially the suspended list uh, for next season. Okay. Um, but I don't know what happened in 2019. I don't remember, but I'm going to double check it. But I remember I did confidently check the information uh, when the red cards happened. Sì, uh, sì, but... sì, certo, of course. Quindi ragazzi, non lo sappiamo in realtà ufficialmente in questo momento se i due portieri saranno squalificati, se quelli che sono stati espulsi all'ultima giornata saranno squalificati. Non lo sappiamo ancora, devo uscire ancora la lista ufficiale, eh. Yeah, but I'm struggling to remember what I did last night, to be honest. Maybe they played Let some official game before the start of the season, something like a cup game in 2000, uh, 2019. Maybe. Uh, 2019 was a strange season because of COVID, and there was no relegation, and yeah. the J League were very relaxed. They were... It was bizarre. Um, but I don't think they would... There's no cup game other than the um, Super Cup. That happens in preseason. I will check. I'll go on the on on the forums and find out. But okay, yeah, that's okay. what from memory. Yeah, or maybe it was a ploy, and I'm buying all the starting <laughs> keepers. <laughs> you are like the Turkish. You are like the Turkish guy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am the Turkish guy. <laughs> well, what's Thanks a lot for this. Uh, no, thank you very much. Chat. And whenever yes. you want, maybe before uh, J1 starts, you can come back and we can talk uh, about uh, new season. Yeah, what yeah, you... sure. I'll be uh, back in Japan then. Yeah, that's always the issue is the time difference. Yeah. Uh, but, and, uh, but yeah, of course, definitely we'll get it going. Well, we get the announcement from Nicholas. We're, we've got Japan. 
Uh, no, with the eye. <laughs> with the emoji eye. <laughs> some eyes, some rockets, and a Japanese flag. <laughs> some lions. Uh, some, <laughs> some sushi roll. I don't know. He will... <laughs> I'll take it. But yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Matsu. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye Have bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye, bye. Grazie, vabbè, intervista pazzesca, Matsuyama è veramente un grande, vi ringrazio voi.